sixth station of the cross, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reflection by Bishop Robert Barron. Tradition has it that a woman called Veronica wiped the blood and sweat from Jesus' face as he made his way to Calvary, leaving his image miraculously imprinted on her veil. What do we see in the face of Christ? We see the Son of God, the divine Word made flesh. To use Paul's language, God has brought to light the knowledge of the glory of God on the face of Jesus Christ. In and through his humble humanity, his divinity shines forth. The proximity of his divinity in no way compromises the integrity of his, of his humanity, but rather makes it shine in greater beauty. This is the New Testament version of the burning bush. The Jesus who is both divine and human is the Jesus who is evangelically compelling. If he is only divine, then he doesn't touch us. If he is only human, then he can't save us. His splendor consists in the coming together of the two natures. This is the Jesus Christ who wants to reign as Lord of our lives in every detail. And we see in the veil of Veronica the suffering Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The Lord of life came and we killed him. Therefore hiding, denying, covering up pretense, excuses, and subterfuges, all the ruses of self-justification are permanently out of the question. Our own dysfunction is on public view in every wound on the body of Jesus. When we direct ourselves toward the brilliance of the crucified Christ, every smudge on the window pane of the soul becomes visible. In the tormented face of the suffering Christ, we know that something has gone terribly wrong with us, that no one is okay, that we're like prisoners chained inside of an escape-proof prison that we are at war with ourselves, that our Pharaoh has enslaved the Israelites and pressed them into service, that we are under judgment, that all we can do is cry, O come, O come, Emmanuel. But in that veil of Veronica, we also see the face of mercy. When we had wandered into the cold and distant country of sin, God's love came to search us out. When we had sunk under the waves, that love went deeper. When we had closed ourselves up in the somber cave of self-regard, self-reproach, that love crouched down and with a candle entered in. And this is why we Christians don't hide the awful face of the dying Christ. This is why we show it to the world. In Jesus' agony, God is taking our agony away. We know it is no longer we who live, but Christ who lives in us. We realize that nothing can ever separate us from the love of God. The church doesn't have a mission. It is a mission. And its purpose is to cause the merciful face of Jesus to gaze upon everyone in the world. Uh, here are some questions to reflect on, uh, provided by catholicmatch.com. How much risk do we take in helping others? Are you willing to get your hands dirty? Have you closed yourself off from someone? Veronica's sole intent was to assist our Lord with a simple gesture. How often do we overthink or weigh things out instead of just acting towards someone else's needs? After you've been thought about these for a while, please recite one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory Be. A new reflection by Bishop Barron on the stations will be posted each Wednesday and Friday during Lent. Mark your calendar and come back to Christ the King website often. May God bless.